Um, my name's TJ. Uh, I went to Australia uh, well, about 13 days, actually, on the 22nd of January. Uh, I've seen quite a few people upload videos about what they're doing and what have you. So I thought, fuck it, if not, why not? So I'm actually doing a video. I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm bringing, the reasons I'm bringing it, um, my my opinion on the advice that you hear. So I just, uh, I hope you enjoy it. The next clip you'll see. So right then, this is all my uh, this is all my stuff that I'm taking with me. Um, I like stuff and take stuff away. Stuff's in the wash and what have you. Um, we'll start with my rucksack. I've got a high gear 80 plus 15 rucksack. It's a fairly big rucksack. I'd say too big. Um, they say you only need 50, but I've got a bigger size because uh, big is better, as they say. Um, what was I saying? Anyway. Um, it's got a removal day pack on it. That's what the 15. So it's a 15 litre day pack. Um, this little rucksack in here keeps sort of your swimming stuff whenever you go in. It's fairly good. Zips on. You want you, and then underneath that, you've got a. Uh, 80 plus 15 rucksack. I've got a little bungee cord and some carabiners just because you never know. You never know. I don't know what you don't know, but you never know. Um, start with my sleeping bag. I've got a fleece mummy sleeping bag. It's a really good sleeping bag. Yeah, my sleeping bag liner, sorry. Um, but the reason I've got it's a thick, it's quilted, do you? It's a thick one, so I kind of think I'm in Australia. I'm not going to need a, an explorer bloody um, sleeping bag, am I? So. Uh, that should do nicely. If not, you'll hear another video of me crying because I'll be freezing cold. Um, I've got a camp survival kit. My sister got to go into detail with that. The same as the first aid kit. I'm really, really impressed myself with that one. Um, survival little gear over there. It's a little um, one of them things that when you don't do a run. Not that I'm ever going to be running, but they put it off. That keeps your heat in and what have you if I get caught in the outback. And a poncho just in case it rains. Um, moving on to my pants and what have you. Um, I've got five pairs of pants just because I kind of think if I take three, because they say you take them bare minimum, bare minimum, but I just think. No, nah, what's the point? You know what I mean? I can. They don't weigh anything. They're pants. You know what I mean? Um, moving on to socks. I've got five pairs of trainer socks. White trainer socks and three pairs of normal socks. For whatever. Um, going over to tops. I'm going to be taking five tops. There's four there. There's a couple of normal tops. Um, a going out top. And the best top that has ever been made. Undisputed. Well, unless you count titles. But, uh, and then over here, my shorts. I'm going to be taking a pair of chinos, but they're in the wash. Um, I've got my little running around shorts. Not that I'm going to be running around. Swimming shorts and a pair of day shorts. Because, you know what I mean, I can buy stuff out there. I've got loads of money saved up. So I can buy stuff out there. Um, coming over this side. Um, I've got uh, my microfiber towel. Um, got it on eBay, wasn't it? About eight quid. Um, it's really good. Um, when you look at it, you think it's ridiculously thin. How how God's a, a, how can that dry, you know what I mean? Um... But it does, I've tried it, it works quite well. Um, the other side of that little pack comes with a little uh, a zip thing, so if I'm going swimming, I can just take that with me. But it comes with a little, uh, another little bag, got cotton buds and other stuff I need for when I'm showering and whatever. Um, I've got my razor in here, which is actually, um, a lot of people think, what's the point, you might as well take a razor, a razor's lighter, but this weighs the same as a, a Gillette and some shaving foam. See what I mean? So I'm not taking the Gillette, I'm not taking the shaving foam, I'm taking this, and that's got a charger in it. Nice little zip up bag. Um, I've got my uh, beard trimmer just there, even though I've got a beard, it's nice, uh, it makes me feel like a man. Um, my washing up stuff, washing up stuff. My uh, wash stuff over there, body stuff, body gel, hair gel, and what have you. Over here, I've got my. Uh, this is, uh, this is brand new, I, I, I'd never heard of this. I googled this when I was in a shop. Especially, it's a dry bag. Um, what this does is it keeps your, your bag dry. So you basically, when you've been swimming, you put your uh, wet swimming trunks or whatever you're in there, your wet socks. You do a little thing up, do, 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 and it keeps your bag dry. So that's really good. Um, they're at £12. It's a, I don't know, that, I don't know whatever that make is, but um, they normally cost about £12, £13, pounds, like go outdoors and outdoor shops. Sports Direct, three quid. Get one now. Um, got some chargers, uh, my toothbrush, electric toothbrush charger, and my device charger. I'm missing my Nokia charger, but it's only a small little thing. Come on over this side. Um, there is my device. I've got a Samsung Galaxy 3. Hello, me. I've got a Samsung Galaxy 3. Um, it does the job, really. The reason I got this over an iPad was because I'm going backpacking. So if, you, if you're a thief, not saying that you are, but just so you know a thief, ask him. <laughs> but if a, if a thief's going to rob a tablet and sees an iPad and then sees this cheap thing, he's going to rob your iPad, isn't he? And this, this thing I bought for £100 a year ago and it's now worth 40 quid. Um, it does the job quite well, actually. Um, it's really decent to run that battery. But it does the job extremely well and what have you. Um, I've got my Los Angeles hat there from Top Man. Love it. Oh, River Island, sorry. Um, coming over, I've got my I've got a present I've got my nan for Christmas, a little diary. Um, hopefully I'll write a diary. You know what I mean? If not, I'm going to the bin. 
um, the bag that this uh, the camera comes in, my sunglasses, my earphones, because I hate people talking on buses. Um, got my earplugs. These are really, really good. Um, can't see the make of them, but Amazon, just Amazon earplugs. Um, they're really, really good. Basically, if you look at them, they look like when you were a kid and you used to use Pritt stick to glue stuff and then you cut the top of the Pritt stick off. They're basically like that. They, they feel sort of similar apart from they're not tacky, they're not like sticky. Um, they're working here. My girlfriend snores really loudly, really fucking loudly. Um, so they kind of, they take away most of the noise, so they're really, really good. Um, got a book, even though I've got sort of an e-reader over here. I like the feel, I like the smell, and uh, I like a book, even that sounds quite weird. Uh, I've got some thank you notes over there that I'm going to write on the plane. Um, got a pair of vans, of course I've got a pair of vans. Um, Got some bags there, sort of dry bags. Just put anything in them. Um, my travel documents. I fl I book through Flight Centre. Um, who, in my opinion, are the best that you should book through Flight Centre if you're not booking, if you're not booked your tickets yet. Um, Flight Centre give you this, this little red folder. Um, money, money, money. Um, they give you a little red folder and put your details in it, whatever. And um, for me, I got a ret I got a return flight. So basically, I return. I fly into Sydney and then fly from Perth. I got family living in Perth, so I fly out of Perth home. So a return flight to Australia with nine nights in a hostel about eight nine months ago cost me nine hundred and twenty five pound. Um and I've Googled flights now and for a single to Sydney is two grand, so ridiculously cheap. Um definitely go through the flight centre. I went through the flight centre Manchester because I was working in Blackpool at the time when I booked it. Um so definitely check out Flight Centre because they're the best. And that is uh collectively all my uh So right then stuff. Um, that's the end of that the clip. Um that, that's all my stuff. Um, hopefully, I've told you everything that uh, reasons why I brought stuff. Any more information, get us a message. You know what I mean, quite like receiving mail. Um, I'm gonna make a few more videos. I booked through Gap 360. We're really, really good. I will tell you the reasons why I booked through them um, in another video. But um, if you like me saying, subscribe down there and uh, like more videos. I've been TJ, and that's been fucking hard. That was really fucking hard.